Hey guys, welcome to Archland. So we have here a tier list courtesy of Pridewind. So I'm going to put a link in the description so that you can have a second reference to this tier list. This tier list actually helped me a lot in deciding on who to build, how to move forward. And I'm going to share with you guys some of the tips in the tier list um, and who to focus on more or less. Um, this tier list goes down to F. But I won't really, you know, go down to the, the lowest levels because um, you will eventually be looking for um, the higher, you know, higher um, tiers in terms of the heroes of the characters that you're going to be using. So uh, honorable mention just for tier B, uh, I've been using Brown so far. Um, decent, very decent in the early game if you need additional um, damage dealing especially for water uh, but again right now as i'm progressing i don't think um he is that good so i'm looking forward to changing him in the roster also um i tried out melissa for tier b definitely um good enough but you also have um you also have bellet in tier A. So might as well be, you know, uh, building up Bellet. They're both of fire. So it's no use building them. But I used both of them. Um, they're decent to start. Uh, but we'll focus more on your tier A. So we'll start with Peacock here. So Peacock, I got her off banner. <laughs> Weird. Off banner pull. And um, um, she actually does great damage um if your enemies are debuffed the problem is if they're not debuffed then her damage goes down so ideally she is paired with a debuffer or a debuff team but very good mobility um also a comment poor survivability you have to um uh use a rune on her with which has vampire for her to survive at least uh, a long duration in the battle but again she's a she's a above average i say no i say average for a average hero to use she can take you as far as you want her to go but eventually if you have charlotte then definitely you'll be using charlotte and i did use her and charlotte together in the team they work well as well okay next is nicholas nicholas is this um mage but take note Nicholas has some heals. So if you're if you're in a market for building building um a hybrid uh mage and a healer, Nicholas is going to be your guy. So actually good as well early game um with the versatility. Uh by the way, he is of fire, so take note of his element. Uh he might he might um he might have a problem in terms of the element that he's he's against uh, against at so again those are things that you should consider so next is cassie cassie is a water tank eventually cassie you will you will be you will actually be uh, transferring to cat to richard for your tank as a tank so both of them are water but cassie if you start with her she has damage reduction good escort skill um, a decrease in uh, physical defense for enemies, but again, she's actually hard to use and needs her uh, her unique equipment. Okay, so that is why she's at A. Next up, this is Kabir. She's uh, he is of darkness. He is a tank, mostly tanks of off, 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 which which are not red, green, and blue are good. But the problem is. Um, they sometimes their stats are a little bit low, so that is a trade off. But Kabir is increased damage output with debuffs, debuff, and stuns enemies. So, you know, um, I wouldn't use Kabir uh, if you have others better, but again, for the early game, he is going to be good. Next up is going to be Helga. So, damage output and buffs, not. I think she's going to be your all-around, you know, all-around mage. She's of light element. Um, if you're really looking for somebody for a mage of all-around value, then Helga is going to be it for you. Next is going to be Hassan. So Hassan here. Um, I used Hassan. So great with debuffs. 
um, his kit is situated alone on debuff. So if you're building a a debuff team, he's really going to be the center of it because he dishes a lot of debuffs. So does pollution he can't you know the the the, the enemy can't be buffed. Uh, also as an unhealable so magic corrosion as well so less um less magic defense so again if he if you're after a mage who has um full debuff um skills then hassan is going to be your guy and the last one to round out our tier a is obviously bellet so a great early game tank and can be maxed out for free uh can be can be good actually i tried her but quickly shifted to other tanks when i had them in my roster so that is it for tier a moving on to our tier b sorry tier s i forgot so for tier s we have here alicia we'll start with alicia here so alicia is going to be a great early game healer removes debuffs um very reliable um and um if you know if you have the don't have any other healer she is going to do great for you um uh, in the early game next up is going to be avia um if you prefer a healer that um can heal only a single target but it's big um she doesn't have any aoe heals this one uh, Avia, um, uh, one of the characters that we get for free. Um, she has no uh, AOE heals early game, but you get it at level 45. You can max her out for free. I think she is very underrated. Uh, I, I'm still using her. Actually, she's my preference for a healer because she buffs attacks. Or, sorry, she, she buffs ally attacks before they attack. So great, re really great value. Um, again, you just have to make sure that she reaches up to a level further to unlock her AOE heals. So, but again, I would prefer her over Alicia, to be honest. Um, um, I prefer her style, her overall mix of skills rather than just uh, heals all day. So next up is going to be Clarice. So this is Clarice. So Clarice is fire. So take note, she's a fire assassin um great at a lone target she has high mobility great at picking off small lone targets high mobility and great dodge the problem with her is that if she's bunched up with a lot of enemies then definitely she cannot survive long so again clarice we 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 get her for free in the game if you have her she has really tremendous damage um, and survivability. Again, you just have to make sure that you move her right in the right, you know, in the right direction or in the right placement for her to survive more. Okay, so next up is Enjard. Um, I used her um, to start. Uh, I transferred from Belette to her. She was, um, but I moved on because I got, um, what did I get? I got Gabriel. So I moved on because Gabriel's also light. So she is kind of a mini Gabriel. She also has, um, you know, she also has some of the stuff that Gabriel has. But again, she, she lacks, she lacks the tangibles that Gabriel has. So, and the problem is they are of the same element. So I had to move on with Gabriel, of course. So, but she's a good tank, especially with the light element. Um, there are no, you know, there are no elemental, you know, counters in terms of red, green, and blue. So she can be also your early game tank. Next up, this one, this is Erica. So great at single targets. So if you have, if you want to pick off single targets, uh, that you can't move through. Erica is going to be a girl. She still has her banner right now. Um, converts buffs into debuffs, similar to similar to Sighard. And what else? Really high range, but relies so much on her exclusive weapons. But again, um, exclusive weapons in this game are not really hard to get. It just requires time. So in my opinion, Erica is a good 
ranger. So far, I think the best ranger that we have. Uh, and also, she, she's of light element, so, she, so she doesn't have a clear elemental, um, you know, elemental weakness. So, moving on to Ibn Atar. So, good damage and damage over time if you're looking for an assassin. So, he's of water, by the way. So, if you're looking for DPS and if you're looking for an assassin who does DOT or damage over time, then get him but again he has low mobility low mobility and survivability so you might think twice you might you know have to place him well for you to use him okay lohan is here so great buffs and heals so for me i think he's he's the um he's the uh best entry level for aoe heals i tried to use his kit I'm not really happy with it. I, that is why I, I moved back to Avia here. So, but he is he he is good. He has heals for he has uh, heals for days, buffs and heals are uh, very good. But I found his kit uh, a bit a little bit one sided. Um, I want I wanted Avia's all around ability uh, better. So that is why I didn't pursue Luhan. But again, he's a good healer. If you don't have any other healers and if, if you prefer a a good aoe heal then he is your guy next up is michael i don't know why they called her michael this girl here so or it's not michelle it's michael so anyway for michael it's weird that she's assassin she's of light but michael has great mobility buffs allies but at the cost of low damage output it's weird because she's an assassin so I don't know why they put her in that category, but again, if you want a, a a you know a variety in your assassin, she could be very good providing buffs to your allies. Okay, so and also has great mobility. Next up is Nola. Nola is lightning. Um, one of the three um, SSRs that are guaranteed in the banner. So you have Nola, you have Sighard. And you have Lena. So of the three, I didn't want to get her. She is actually, she has actually biggest range, buff crit chance as well, reset or decrease cooldown of skill. She has that, but needs to in to incorporate crit damage ASAP. For a lot of her passives won't work. So that is basically what is her problem she needs she needs a lot of love in her kit for her to excel especially for crit um for crit damage so crit chance or crit chance so weak on aoe but good with individual targets she, um for me um if you're beginning if you're a beginner it's really hard to develop a a hero character that needs a lot of that that has a lot of needs early game but again, if you build her and if your preference is is her, is a mage who is good in single target, then she is going to be your girl. And the last up is going to be Richard. Can be versatile as a tank. I've seen him in PvP. I think I prefer him in PvP because of knock of his knockback, knockback and stun. But can be a versatile tank and a damage dealer. Also, his weakness is that he doesn't excel um on either both he is a jack of all trades of being a tank and a damage dealer so there you go um but he's good he, he overall he's still good um he, he just doesn't excel a tank in a, in a damage dealer so he is also lightning there the, the, there isn't a lot of uh, lightning tanks so again he is the last one on your S tier. Moving on to our next tier, which is SS. SS, these are more or less your must-haves in terms of heroes or characters. So we'll start off with Atum. This guy here. Atum here is a mage, a fire mage. So Ignite Specialist and very great AoE. I've seen him... Um, set on fire the battlefield and when 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 everybody passes there you know they they get damage so again at tomb um very good as a fire mage next up is going to be catherine catherine still st uh, actually has her banner up now 
So, probably one of our best mages around. Um, summons, summons a spirit warrior's debuff, silence, unhealable decrease in magic defense. You name it, she has it. So, if you're looking for an upgrade from Hassan, then she's your girl. So, that is why I'm upgrading to her. Hopefully, I get her in, in her banner. Hopefully, in the next few days. Um, crossing my fingers. Crossing my fingers. Okay. Um, really, uh, for now, I'm actually um, choosing between between this girl, Semi, and her. But Catherine is more of what I need right now in my roster. So, I'm opting for Catherine. So, hope you guys also settle for her. Um, next up is Gabriel. One of the tanks that I think has a lot going on for her. Um, has counters, um, heals before battle, great survivability, AOE on physical defense. Um, what else? Her element is actually light, so she can be brought in any team. No, no, no really big counters from the three big elements, which is red, green, and blue. Um, they say that light has less stats. At this point, I don't really care. Um, just have to make sure that she's built. She she is built well. She's very versatile, um, and you know um, she she's won a lot of games for me or matches for me so far. Um, she is preferably brought on in a PVE setup, not a PVP. Um, again. Um, but if you don't have any choice like me, I still bring her in PvP. So again, one one of the best tanks that we have. Don't get me wrong. Um, very very nice kit. She can lower defenses. Uh, I I can't say anymore. But again, top top tank in SS tier. Next is Lena. She was one again of the three that we can choose in that banner, the beginners banner, where we are guaranteed an SSR. So Lena. I didn't get Lena. Um, I opted for a frontline DPS. So Lena has good battlefield control, highly mobile, great damage, by the way, for a water mage. And I have no complaints on, on her. Um, it's just that my preference was something I had somebody on in the in the front to receive a lot of damage, and that is why. I moved to Sighard to get Sighard. So Sighard, um, tons of damage, self-heal, really built to be a damage dealer. Can be your tank, by the way, a little bit, but has a lot of damage, um, can attack multiple times. Um, I started the game with Sighard. I didn't have Charlotte to start the game. I didn't reroll as much. So I opted to go with Sigurd. So again, probably one of the best warriors that we have. And going on to the last three, which is our God tier or SSS tier, we have Clafare or Clafar. Um, it's it's her. It's here. She is a priest, a light, one of the uh, actually best healer that we have. Great heals and buffs. Gives allies um, additional action. Again. I think one she is a big upgrade to Avia if you have Avia. She's like she's like the older sister of Avia. So she does things better than Avia while I like Avia already. So again, best healer, best buffer in the game. Get her if you can. And next is Sammy. Sammy, I'm still thinking if I'm gonna pull for her banner. If I get um Kath if I get Catherine here, but again, I'm opting for Catherine because of what she does for my team. For her, I already have um, Clarice, but again, she's a hard not she's she's hard not to pull because she's of lightning, she's an assassin, and she's a good DPS for lightning, which I'm missing a lot. So semi, tons of damage, high mobility, top tier dodge. She's again, an, she's actually an upgrade over Clarice. So if you are opting to use a assassin, then go for her. Um, you won't really regret using her. Um, but again, it's really a hard decision between Catherine and uh, 
and semi at this point. But last but not the least, the queen of the queen of this tier list. It's going to be Charlotte. It's a warrior, water. Um, if you don't have her yet, please do get her. Her her banner is still available for I think 17 days. If not, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, if you haven't gotten her in the reroll, please get her. Uh, your life will be easier with her. Um, great movement, multiple attacks. Uh, once I I remember that she attacked three times in one turn. Great damage, cheats cheats death at level forty five. What can you ask more about a warrior? So, and she you know she demolishes fire elements. If Sighard and her would face off, definitely Sighard would 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 uh, fall down and bleed out. So. That is it, guys, for the tier list. Um, this is a nice tier list, actually. Uh, for the rest, uh, please just read what are their stats and why are they ranked at that tier. But more or less, this tier list will still change as we play the game further, as we migrate to global. And that is it, guys. If you have questions and comments, please put them down in the comment section. And let's discuss. So thank you very much for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.